the world is a stage, and all the men and women merely plays. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. The first the infant, kneeling and puking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy, with his satchel and shining pointing face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. Then the love, sighing like horns, with a woeful belt made to his mistress's eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bitter like the pod, jealous and on, sudden and quick and quill, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. Then injustice, in fair on belly with good cape lined, with ice severe and beard of formal cut, full of white swords and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The six age shifts into lean and sleep with pantaloon, with spectacles on nose and pouch on side. His youthful holes well saved, a well too wide for his shrunk shank, and his big manly voice turning again to a childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last seen of all, that ends this strange eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything.